the 2024 NFL playoffs are here. So today in Madden 24, it is every single playoff matchup from the wild card round all the way up to Super Bowl 58. And I'm not going to waste any time. Let's check out the playoff bracket. In the AFC, we have the two-seeded Buffalo Bills taking on the seven-seeded Pittsburgh Steelers. The three-seeded Chiefs will host Tyreek Hill and the Dolphins. And the AFC South belongs to the Houston Texans, and they'll be hosting the Cleveland Browns. Then in the NFC, it's the two-seeded Cowboys hosting the seven-seeded Green Bay Packers, the Lions versus the Rams. Stafford returns to Detroit. Jared Goff tries to get his revenge. And then we have the four-seeded Tampa Bay Buccaneers, Baker Mayfield versus the Philadelphia Eagles. And we're going to start off with the Bills hosting the Steelers. And in the first matchup of Wild Card Weekend, the Buffalo Bills destroy the Pittsburgh Steelers in Buffalo and towards the end of the game, it is 31-8 as we wait for it to finish. There's really not much to see here towards the end of this game. Mason Rudolph will need a miracle with this Steelers offense. It's 4th and 10. They're down 23. I guess we'll check out this play, but it looks like the Bills are going to move on. Alright, well, actually, the Steelers have officially given up hope. They're going to punt it on 4th and 10, down 23 points. The Bills will no doubt head on to round 2. We have one of the two seeds handling business in the Bills. Now let's check out the Cowboys versus the Packers. The Dallas Cowboys hosting a playoff game, and they are dominant at home, jumping out to a quick 20 to nothing lead, but the Packers are trying to battle back late. Let's see if they can pull off a comeback. Well, it looks like Dallas is going to handle their business at home. They're a great team at home, and Tony Pollard picks up the first down. Green Bay has two timeouts left to stop the clock. They got to get 13 points. One more first down from Dallas, and it's over. So Dallas winded up kicking a field goal. Green Bay is officially down by 16. They have no more timeouts. They need an absolute miracle. I'm pretty sure we're good enough to simulate to the end of this game. Green Bay gets it into Dallas territory, but this game's over. So both two seeds did what they needed to do, but now let's see Tyreek Hill with turn to Kansas City to take on the Chiefs. The Chiefs welcome Tyreek Hill back to Arrowhead Stadium in the playoffs by taking a 20-3 lead in this game. The Dolphins wound up making it 20-10 and are looking to see if they can complete a comeback. Alright, Mahomes one first down pretty much and you're good to go and that's exactly what happens. Mahomes to Rasheed Rice. They pick up the first down up 10 into Miami territory. This one's looking like it's done too. See what happens. So second and 14, third and 5 Kansas City. It's a first and 10. Miami's pretty much out of timeouts. We can let this clock go all the way down pretty much. They get the ball back, but it's 27 to 10 Chiefs. They have one timeout left down 17 points. They do not have enough time. The Chiefs destroy the Dolphins in Tyreek's return to Kansas City. I want to see a close playoff game. Hopefully these games are not blowouts in real life like they are so far in Madden. But now let's check out Matthew Stafford's return to Detroit against Jared Goff and the Lions. In the best game of these playoffs so far, Matthew Stafford back in Detroit. Both teams going back and forth, score for score. Who's going to take it? Jared Goff down three right here with a chance to take the lead or at least tie the game against his former team. It's Sam Laporta, who I actually don't think will be playing next week, but he's still in here in Madden, so we're going to keep him in for now. And he hasn't been ruled out as far as I can find online. Doesn't look like he's going to play, but I didn't wind up taking him out of the game. So it is what it is. Laporta makes a catch. They're third and three. Can they get the touchdown to take the lead? Goff going to Laporta again over the middle to the two. I'm just happy we finally have a close game here. And it's between the Lions and the Rams, which makes a ton of sense. Third and goal. Goff end zone overthrows Amon Ross St. Brown. And they'll have to tie this game up with a field goal. Stafford third and ten approaching the two-minute warning. Can he pick up a first? Here comes Aiden Hutchinson. And he's sacked for a loss of nine. Which means Jared Goff is getting the ball back first and ten from his own 37. There's a chance a field goal wins this game if there's no time left on the clock. And Jamison Williams at a horse collar tackle or maybe a face mask for an extra 15. It's going to be a face mask. Montgomery into the game here. Amon Ross, seven catches, 120 yards in this game. Montgomery the carry up the middle. Wide open grass. You don't want to score, though. You want to end this game with a field goal, and he gets the first. Madden Logic might make the Lions score. I've seen it before in simulations. Montgomery does score. He should have went down. He obviously would in the real NFL and kick a game-winning field goal, but now they got to play defense. Lions fans also know that Matthew Stafford is the king of the comeback. He can do this all day, every day. And Cooper Cup makes the grab. And how much time are they going to have? Because they have to rush the line of scrimmage. Madden Logic doesn't take time off the clock, even though it says a nine-second runoff. But 22 seconds at the 43 of the Lions. It is Cup again. He's tackled in bounds. And this game might come down to one final play. Here we go. 
Eight seconds left. Second and four. They might get one more chance at it, but he's tackled in bounds. They should not be able to get another playoff. And they won't. The Lions win by seven, and they're going to the divisional round. Finally got ourselves a good game. Now let's check out the Texans taking on the Browns. The Texans are in the playoffs, and they start off on fire, and they carry it out throughout the entire game because they are shutting out the Cleveland Browns late into the game. At this point, it's just a formality for C.J. Stroud and the Texans. One minute left. Singletary gets the carry. A few timeouts for the Browns. He gets a fresh set of downs. 50 seconds on the clock, and the the Texans dominate Joe Flacco and the Browns who are throwing the ball all over the field in previous games against this Texans team as well and they wind up shutting them out in the rematch back in Houston one more play will do it CJ Stroud will take one more snap and then they're headed to the divisional round to take on the Baltimore Ravens where I believe they lost in week one in Baltimore in CJ Stroud's NFL debut. Let's see if they can get their revenge. And our final matchup of Wild Card Weekend is Eagles Buccaneers. Out of the two minute warning with a three point lead, Baker Mayfield on the verge of winning his second career playoff game. He gets a first down to Mike Evans, and Evans stays on his feet, and it's a touchdown. Buccaneers, and they take a two possession lead. And if you're enjoying the video, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing. We're on the road to 100K. When the Eagles defense needed to stop the most, even though they played great the entire game, they did not get the stop. It's AJ Brown over the middle, kind of like Laporta, who we did earlier on in the video. Probably is not going to play against Tampa Bay Buccaneers, but Madden hasn't taken him out yet, so I'm leaving him in, but I don't think he'll be active, and I don't think it's even going to matter having A.J. Brown, and they still only score six points. Something was seriously wrong with the Eagles at the end of the season, and we're seeing it in Madden, too. If Jalen Hurts and the Eagles can pull this off. They might run it all the way to the Super Bowl, but it's not looking likely. Down 10, 50 seconds. Oh, my goodness. Devin White with a sack of six on Jalen Hurts. For a team that looked great the first 11, 12 weeks of the season, they they have fallen off and they have fallen off hard. They're going to get first rounded by Baker Mayfield. Oh, should have been picked. Doesn't even matter. Two timeouts for the Eagles. The Bucks can pretty much go victory formation. Let's just go ahead. Have this clock hit triple zeros, which it does. And the Buccaneers move on to the divisional round. In the AFC, it is the Buffalo Bills hosting the Kansas City Chiefs, and we have the one-seeded Ravens making their playoff debut this year against the Houston Texans. And in the NFC, we're getting a rematch between the Lions and Cowboys in Dallas, a matchup we saw a few weeks ago where, in my opinion, the Lions were robbed, and we're going to have the Buccaneers take it on the one-seeded 49ers. And let's start on the NFC this time with the Cowboys and the Lions. Well, what I said earlier about the Lions getting robbed against Dallas a few weeks ago, this time they get decimated. Dallas makes sure that they earn this win, with no questions because they're up 41 to 10 and they're going to put this one away. They don't quite have enough time to just let all the clock run down, but if they run it here to Pollard and he doesn't go in, they can pretty much end this game. The Lions get decimated. Pollard will run up the score one more time and the Lions are going home. Let's check out the two C in the AFC. We have Kansas City traveling to Buffalo to take on Josh Allen. We got a snow game in Buffalo and the Bills are down to Kansas City. Are the Chiefs going to beat the Bills in the playoffs again? We could have our first upset on the road. Kansas City comes to Buffalo. They're the three seed against the two seed. So technically it is an upset even though either of these teams could win. But but it's digs never mind i might have spoke too soon buffalo with a touchdown bill's obviously gonna go for two to make it a three-point game can they finally beat kansas city in the postseason it's Diggs again over the middle. It's a three-point game. Bills defense needs to make a stop. Mahomes looking to put the dagger in Bills fans' hearts once again here. Under four minutes in Buffalo. It's a tough field goal in a snow game, though. Mahomes, if he sacked, that is huge. Rousseau with a 12-yard sack. He's got two and a half sacks in this game. When the Bills defense needed to show up, they force a third and 34. If there's a penalty on Buffalo, that would be a heartbreaker right now because it looks like they're going to get the ball back. Mahomes sacked again at 4th and 43. When the pressure's on Josh the most right now, can he deliver? Can he take the lead against Kansas City and win this game? He's got a wide open man in his sure field, and he could go all the way. And the Bills on two plays take the lead. To go to the AFC Championship game. Mahomes, though, hits Kelsey, and this one ain't done yet. I don't understand, Madden. Why is there not time coming off on the no huddle? 
It is what it is, I guess, though. And we even have MVS catching balls. 24 seconds. It's going to come down to the next few plays. Mahomes. If he gets sacked, this might be game. Fires across his body. Kelsey, they do it again. Unbelievable. Josh Allen has 10 seconds. I don't think they can get a field goal range. Hold on a second, Gabe Davis. Call the timeout. The Chiefs did this in the Bills two years ago with like 10 or 13 seconds to get in the field goal range. Will the Bills do the same? Or is it for the game here? Oh, it was Diggs, but there's one second left. They would have been in field goal range. Wow, what a defensive play. And it comes down to this, but Allen gonna go to Diggs again. It's broken up and the Chiefs win. That was without a doubt the game of the playoffs so far. Now we're gonna go to Baltimore to check out the Ravens and the Texans. Well, it was a nice story for the Texans and CJ Stroud for them to make the playoffs after being the number two overall pick last year. Stroud's probably going to win. Oh my goodness, Nico Collins at the end of this game. It's not going to matter though. Down 28. Nico Collins and CJ Stroud. Stroud probably going to walk away with the Offensive Rookie of the Year. Either him or Puka Nakua of the Rams. Probably going to go to the quarterback though. But what an unbelievable season. They win a playoff game. They come into Baltimore though and the Ravens are still on fire. They are going to be super dangerous in these playoffs. And what a weird touchdown at the end of this game from Noah Brown, but this one's over. And our final round two matchup between the Bucks and the one seed of 49ers. We have a low scoring game in San Francisco where the number one seed is leading the Buccaneers towards the end of this game, 13 to three, as they look to close it out. Baker Mayfield, 13 to three. You gotta pick up this first. You need the touchdown. Oh my, not that type of touchdown because that one is going for six and the Tampa Bay Buccaneers can hop right on that flight back to Tampa Bay because the 49ers are now 17 with two minutes to go. This one's over. We have the Kansas City Chiefs traveling to Baltimore for the AFC Championship, where the Cowboys will travel to San Francisco for the NFC Championship. And we start with the AFC Championship game, the Chiefs and the Ravens. The Ravens could not have played a worse game. Coming off an amazing divisional round matchup against the Texans, and now in the AFC Championship, they get destroyed by the Kansas City Chiefs, who outscore them 30 Two zero, They get shut out. The MVP of the league, Lamar Jackson, can't even get a point. And I think that will do it. The Chiefs are headed to Super Bowl 58. What in the world has happened to Bolt number one seeds? We saw the Ravens get shut out by the Chiefs. And now the 49ers are getting destroyed by Dallas in San Francisco. It is 35 to 7. And all signs are pointing to a Chiefs Cowboys Super Bowl. You know what it is? It's Madden. And Madden loves the Chiefs and they love the Cowboys. I wouldn't be surprised to see the Cowboys get first or second rounded. They might make it to the Super Bowl. They are that good. But you've seen as recent history would show, the Cowboys disappoint in big spots. If they can really beat the 49ers 35-7 to in the real NFL, you gotta tip the cap. But I think we can pretty much simulate to the end. I don't think the 49ers are gonna score a 31-point touchdown and we will have a Chiefs Cowboys Super Bowl. And here we go. Allegiant Stadium, Super Bowl 58, Mahomes, Dak, Pacheco, Rasheed Rice. These guys are here. Tony Pollard is here. The Cowboys, the Chiefs for the Lombardi Trophy. And we are going to do things a little bit differently than what we've been doing so far in this video because it is the Super Bowl. We're watching both teams' first offensive drive to see any big plays, if they score a touchdown, field goal, anything like that. This is the unstoppable force against the immovable object in Madden because both of these teams are loved by Madden simulations. Neither one can be beat. They find each other though in the Super Bowl and one of them has to to be beat. Mahomes and the Chiefs trying to make a statement here with an opening drive touchdown. It goes to Pacheco and Pacheco makes it third and four. Third and four. Will it be a field goal? Will it be a sack from Micah Parsons? Look out Mahomes and it's looking like a field goal. Not a bad drive by the Chiefs though to get points on the board to start the Super Bowl. Now it's in the hands of Dak Prescott. Dak finds his man CD Lamb. These guys are tearing up the NFL and they start the Super Bowl with a 22 yard pickup. Big first down opportunity. Pollard in the backfield. He keeps on going. Tony Pollard, Dallas on the board, touchdown. And now to the Super Sam, both teams get on the board, the Chiefs get a touchdown, 
Dallas answers right back though, and the Chiefs answer right back, and Dallas doesn't answer right back. I thought they were going to. We're in the third quarter here. Dallas, I was looking to jump in. They take a 20 to 17 lead. Let's see if Mahomes can answer. Here we, they score so quickly again. We can't quite jump in. Is Dallas gonna answer? They're driving. We're jumping back in with the Cowboys. Second and five in field goal range for a chance to tie the game. We've seen Pollard on the ground already. He has two touchdowns in this game. 11 minutes to go. They're down three, but they want seven. Pollard had an okay season, but in the Super Bowl if you perform, that is all that matters and that's what he's doing. Two touchdowns for Tony Pollard. Hello, C.D. Lamb. He is getting inside the 10 and it's first and goal, Dallas. On the 8-yard line, Dak's gonna go empty. C.D.'s open and he's got him. Touchdown, Lamb. Again, the Cowboys connect for a touchdown and have the lead. They have all three timeouts, but it's Parsons. Down goes Patrick Mahomes. Might be the biggest play of the game right here on third and seven. A chance to take so much time off the clock, but it's incomplete and the Chiefs will get the ball right back. The Chiefs cannot do anything the last two drives and you gotta have it here under five minutes to go. Third and 11. Does he look for Kelsey? Not quite. Parsons X Factor. He's gonna run. Mahomes is down fourth and nine and again, they'll have to punt. But it was an amazing punt. It's second and five and Dak is picked off at the six yard line by Trent McDuffie. And that means it's a first and goal from the six for the Chiefs. And Mahomes isn't gonna let this chance get away from him and VS down to the one. Well, no doubt this is four down territory. The Chiefs need to get in this end zone. They got two plays to do it. They're in the eye. Noah Gray, will he get the ball? Pacheco, no. Play action. Mahomes slings it, and he hits his man. The other tight end, I'm not even going to lie, I don't know who that is. That's Blake Bell with the touchdown to take the lead in the Super Bowl. Will they snap before the two-minute warning? They will. Again, it's Lamb. you got to triple team this man into field goal range. Go the Cowboys. Dallas doesn't want to leave Mahomes with any time. They want to score a touchdown with zeros on the clock and end it. It's Jake Ferguson who makes a nice grab. Well, Mahomes is going to get this ball back. Back. But Dallas obviously has to score a touchdown. You don't just want a field goal. You get the touchdown. It's Ferguson and the lead for Dallas. A minute to go in Super Bowl 58. Dallas needs one stop and they're Super Bowl champions. Dak Prescott had an amazing playoff run. He put up points in every matchup. Michael Parsons, there he goes, and he sacks Mahomes. Chiefs backed up all the way to their own 17-yard line on a third and 18. Parsons, he is wrecking the Chiefs offensive line, and he might take this Lombardi himself. Fourth and 25, it comes down to this 38 seconds, but the Chiefs have to pick up a first down. Is Parsons going to go for the hat trick? Mahomes rolls out, fires. Are you kidding me? It's broken up. No flags. And the Cowboys are going to win the Super Bowl. Cowboys fans, you have finally done it. Madden has blessed you with a Super Bowl win. Can you recreate it? in real life. The NFL season is officially over as a Lombardi Trophy makes its way to the podium. Where is Dak Prescott? He has the trophy in hand. Mike McCarthy on the podium with him. And the Dallas Cowboys for the first time in about 30 years are Super Bowl champions. Congratulations to the Cowboys. That's going to do it for the video, everyone. If you enjoyed it, do me a favor by hitting the like button and subscribing to the channel. And make sure to go check out my other channels, which are in the description down below. And I'll talk to you on the next one. Peace.